The Geospatial Technology Pathway at Piner High School leads students to a brighter future. Over there. So we're going out. We're going up over there. Maybe those trees right there. Yeah, right by the tree line. Right, it's definitely one of my favorite classes. It's one of my most interesting classes because you get a lot of hands on work and you kind of are able to apply real life scenarios to your work. So that's kind of the cool thing about that doesn't really happen often in school and I get to do that in this class a lot. Compared to most high school classes, really cool. Basically, it's a three-year pathway program specializing in geospatial science and also learning geographic information systems. You know, I could unroll a long spreadsheet here full of numbers and columns and rows of data. And the field of GIS and the skills that the kids learn is taking that data and making it visual, making it usable to people. We personally don't know of any other high school that has the same program that we have in the state of California. It tends to be the skill set that no one knows of, but is like widely used throughout the entire world. And so you can take that, you can go to college, you can apply for a job, and if you write this down, your chances of getting whatever it is that you applied for are better. Geographic Information Systems is the fastest growing technical field in the United States. Companies, businesses, governments. I know that hospitals and fire um, stations use it, police use it. Military service. Utility companies. Starbucks is popping up everywhere and they use this program or the skill set so that way they map the places that are most populated where more people will drive past their stores so that way they can make more money. You can go on, on Google Earth and zoom down and fly through three-dimensionally downtown Santa Rosa. GIS professionals are the people who make these things and make them usable to the ordinary person. We have you know all the latest state-of-the-art equipment. Um, we've been very well funded and outfit and kids do respond to that. I think, well, this one too needs to be learned. I've been interested in sciences since I was little. And I've always loved to do stuff with computers. I mean, I'm not a techie or anything, but I everyone deals with technology now from a day-to-day -day basis. Well, we use a lot of professional equipment, which is nice, you know, not many people get to. We use double screen computers, use those on a day-to-day -day basis. We use programs like ArcMap, ArcMap 10 and ArcGIS. We have a, a lot of Trimble equipment, which is the highest quality GP, GPS equipment. Yeah, he has. I saw one way yeah, over there. This class is nice because you can do something different. You're outside, you're doing field work, using technology, it's innovative, and so it's fun. Guys, found the cab here. I found the cab. I'm sitting the waypoint. One of the things as a teacher that I like to see is they take charge of their own learning. And I think this class allows them to do that. I think there's too much sit, stand and deliver, um, learn something that'll help me do well in a multiple choice test. Currently we have more males than females, but we are, uh, we're getting more and more females. Like our, I think our incoming freshmen looks like a little bit more girls. It tends to, when it comes to sciences, you will see more uh, guys than girls interested, but we are trying to reach out to more girls to come into this program. It's a STEM program, a science, technology, engineering, and math. Those are where the good jobs are. Those are where the higher paying jobs are. And anything we can do to get kids into that sector, get them interested in doing science, math, technology, and engineering, that's why we're doing this. But the bottom line is if you wanted your child to be out doing something in a field that could provide them with amazing opportunities, we're a great class for them. The skills they learn with the GIS are awesome. And if they choose to, to you know, pursue that as a career, that's great. But the problem solving skills and the critical thinking skills will carry them wherever they go. An open enrollment policy gives students outside of Piner's district an opportunity to attend Piner High School to take advantage of their geospatial pathway program. Thanks for watching. Join us again next time on Snapshots, the show that brings you the small stories that make Sonoma County big in the best way.